we are going to look at a pretty simple example. A cache memory can hold 64 kilobytes. Data is transferred between main memory and the cache in blocks of 32 bytes each. The main memory consists of 2 gigabytes. Show the format of main memory address in a two-way set associative cache scheme. Addressing is done at the byte level. We would have identified that our main memory is 2 gigabytes. We need to find S plus W and we know 2 to the S plus W is equal to 2 gigabytes. We know that 2 gigabytes would become 2 to the 1 times 2 to the 30, making that 2 to the 31. Therefore, S plus W is equal to 31 bits. Our block size is 32 bytes. Therefore, we get 2 to the W is equal to 32. 2 to the 5 is equal to 32. Therefore, W is equal to 5 bits. Now we will calculate S, which is equal to S plus W minus W. S plus W from before is 31. And W is 5, giving us 26 bits. The number of lines in cache is equal to the size of cache divided by the size of a line. So we get 64 kilobytes divided by 32 bytes. Our numerator becomes 2 to the 6 times 2 to the 10 and our denominator becomes 2 to the 5. We add our numerator indices giving us 2 to the 16 divided by the denominator 2 to the 5. Subtracting those indices we get 2 to the 11. Now we have the number of sets which is equal to 2 to the 11 divided by 2 to the 1. It is 2 because we're using a two-way set associative mapping scheme. So we get 2 to the 10 when we subtract those indices. Therefore implying that D is equal to 10 bits. D represents the field for the set. Our tag is equal to 26 minus 10, which is equal to 16 bits. So coming back to our address structure, which has the tag, set, and word, we would have calculated the tag, which gave us 16, and our set, which gave us 10, and our word, which gave us 5.